Hello children, once again I am in front of you with a new video. But beforehand I want to thank you for appreciating my previous videos for your likes and comments. Today we are going to discuss on topic cell structure and function. This topic is related to the science and CRT book of class 8. Before starting the explanation, I would like to request you to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell button so that you can get the notification in time. Children, in and around us, there are several living and non-living things. Now living things. Living things perform some basic functions. How? What are those basic functions? Some of the basic functions are nutrition, respiration, circulation, excretion. Now what are the things through which these functions are performed? So these functions are performed by organ system. There is a system. Okay. Now how these systems are made? These systems are made by organs, several organs combined together to form an organ system. Now how these organs are made? These organs are made by tissues, several tissues of same function and same structure build up the organs. Now how the tissues are formed? The tissues are formed by similar cells of similar structure and function. Now today we are going to discuss about this only. That means cell is the structural and functional unit of living organism. Children, Robert Hooke in 1665 discovered cell. He observed slices of cork under a simple magnifying device. You know what is a cork? Cork is a part of the bark of a tree. He took thin slices of cork and observed them under a microscope. He noticed partition boxes or compartments in the cork slice. These boxes appeared like a honeycomb. He also noticed that one box was separated from the other by a wall or partition. Robert Hooke coined the term cell for each box. Cells of living organisms could be observed only after the discovery of improved microscopes. Children, today we know a lot about cell structure and its functions because of improved microscopes having high magnification. Now both bricks in a building and cells in the living organisms are basic structural units. In this living world, organisms differ from each other but all are made, of, made up of cell, the basic unit. Now cell of living organism is a complex living structure. Some organisms are made up, made up of single cell and some are made up of more than one cell. Now children, those organisms which are made up of single cell are known as unicellular organism. Uni means one, cellular means cell. So unicellular organisms are those organisms which are made up of single cell. For example, amoeba. Now, those organisms which are made up of more than one cell are multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms, example are we the human beings. We have trillions of cells in us. Okay. So we are multicellular organisms. Now, all the organisms, uh, the cell of all the organisms differ in shape and sizes. Okay. In multicellular organism, different group of cells perform different functions. But in unicellular organism, 
only a single cell performs all the functions which a multicellular organisms performs okay so in unicellular organism only one cell performs all the basic functions but in multicellular organisms to perform functions there are several types of cells they all together carry out the functions in multicellular organisms children as i told you amoeba is an unicellular organism it has no definite shape unlike other organisms it keeps on changing its shape the projections of varying lengths protruding out of its body are called pseudopodia pseudo means false podia means feet that means it has a false feet which appear and disappear as amoeba moves on the other hand a white blood cell in human blood is another example of a single cell which can change its shape but while wbc is a cell amoeba is a full fledged organism capable of independent existence there are different shapes of the cell all the different shapes are related to their specific functions like blood cells muscle cells or the nerve cells of the human generally cells are round spherical or elongated some cells are long and pointed at both ends they exhibit a spindle shape cells some, sometimes are quite long some are branched like the nerve cell or a neuron the nerve cell receives and transfers messages thereby helping to control and coordinate the working of different parts of the body now components of the cell are enclosed in a membrane this membrane provides shape to the cells of plants as well as animals cell wall is an additional covering over the cell membrane in plants animals do not have cell wall cell wall gives shape and rigidity to the cells now bacteria cell also has a cell wall size of a cell in organism when some cells are very small they cannot be seen with our naked eyes because they are uh, in measurement uh, they are millionth of a meter like the cell of bacteria bacteria cell is the smallest cell found in the world and some cells are large and uh, the largest cell is the egg of an ostrich children now let's discuss about the function of the cell each living organism has many organs as i told you earlier now you all are familiar with the digestive system is not it so the digestive organs which together constitute the digestive system each organ in the system performs different functions what are the functions of digestive system digestion assimilation and absorption similarly different organs of a plant perform specific functions uh, let us take the example of the root roots help in the absorption of water and minerals leaves on the other hand are responsible for synthesis of food each organ is further made up of smaller parts that means organ is made up of smaller parts and the parts of which organs are ma made up of they perform specific function these are known as tissues okay so a tissue is a group of similar cells which perform a specific function the cell of an organism has three main parts number 1 cell membrane number 2 cytoplasm and the most important one is number 3 nucleus 
the cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed within the cell membrane cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane the membrane separates cells from one another and also the cell from the surrounding medium the plasma membrane is porous and allows the movement of substances or materials both inward and outward the cell membrane also gives shape to the cell in addition to the cell membrane there is an outer thick layer in cells of plants which is known as cell wall i have already told you about this this additional layer surrounding the cell membrane is required by plants now why do plants require this for protection plant cells need protection against variations in temperature high wind speed atmospheric moisture etc they are exposed to these variations only because they cannot move cytoplasm cytoplasm is the jelly like substance present between the cell membrane and the nucleus many other components of the cell uh, you can say cell organelle are also present in cytoplasm the so cell organelles which are present in cytoplasm are mitochondria golgi bodies ribosome etc you know mitochondria is known as the power house of the cell and ribosome is known as the protein factory of the cell one more important component of the living cell is nucleus nucleus is generally spherical and located in the center of the cell do you know this is also known as the brain of the cell it can be stained and seen easily with the help of a microscope nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane called the nuclear membrane this membrane is also porous and allows the movement of materials between the cytoplasm and the inside of the nucleus with a microscope of higher magnification we can see a smaller spherical body in the nucleus it is called the nucleolus in addition nucleus contains thread like structures called chromosomes chromosomes carry genes and help in inheritance or transfer of characters from the parents to the offspring the chromosomes can be seen only when the cell divides nucleus in addition to its role in inheritance acts as control center of the activities of the cell the entire content of a living cell is known as protoplasm protoplasm is the physical basis of life it includes the cytoplasm and nucleus so protoplasm is called the living substance of the cell children sub cells in some cells the nucleus is not well defined also nuclear member membrane is not present such type of cells are regarded as prokaryotic cells and on the other hand in some cells nucleus is well defined and nuclear membrane is present such type of cells are called eukaryotic cells prokaryotic cells is found in unicellular organisms but eukaryotic cells are found in some unicellular organisms but mostly multicellular organisms children if you observe an onion peel under a microscope you will be more familiar about the structure of the cell the boundary of the onion cell is the cell membrane covered by 
another thick covering called the cell wall. The central dense round body in the center is called the nucleus. The jelly like substance between the nucleus and the cell membrane is called cytoplasm. You have also uh, you will also notice blank looking structures in the cytoplasm. It is called vacuole. It could be single and as big as in an onion cell. You might have noticed several small colored bodies. These are plastids. Plastids are of different colors. Some of them contain green pigment called chlorophyll. Green colored plastics are called chloroplasts. They provide green color to the leaves. You also know that chlorophyll in the chloroplast of leaves is essential for photosynthesis. We have discussed about different types of cells, different types of organisms, but one thing I want to tell you that there is some differences between plant cell and animal cell. Let's discuss the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Children, some part of the cell is common in both plant cell and animal cell. These are cell membrane, nucleus, nuclear membrane, cytoplasm and vacuole. But one thing to note it down that cell wall is present only in plant cell not in animal cell. Also plastids are present only in plant cell not in animal cell. So children, with this I end today's session. Hope you have liked this video. You have learnt something from this video. So children, don't forget to like, share this video. Also subscribe my YouTube channel. One more thing, press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification for my next video. Thank you for watching.